Welcome to CCIE or die.com. I'm Martech. And in this video, we'll be looking at Switch 300 1.1 .1, Configure and Verify Switch Administration, the subtopic being 1.1b, Managing the MAC Address Table. The MAC Table houses information that it uses to forward traffic. The MAC addresses are associated with one or more ports. The types are static, a manually assigned unicast address that is not lost after a reboot and it does not age, and the dynamic type, which are Macs that are learned and ages after a specific period of disuse, either either the default of the system or, or an aging time that is uh, determined by the administrator. Let's take a for instance and just show the MAC address table. Show MAC address. And you can see the statically assigned MAC addresses that are system specific. They can't be changed. But we can see the dynamic ones that are ports on the far right have learned dynamically from their neighbors, peers, uh, through VLAN 1 and the various MAC addresses uh, uh, that, that they show. Let's take a look at show MAC address aging. This is a command, it's 300 seconds by default, five minutes. This is a command that you can change the, the default aging time for it to, it to flush out. Uh, generally speaking, you're probably not going to touch that, which brings us to another command that you'll probably never touch, but it is taught, which is disabling learning. You want to disable Mac learning with caution. You can disable learning on ranges of VLANs and interfaces. Flooding can occur if you disable learning on VLANs with more than two ports. A port set with security will not be allowed to have learning disabled. Internal VLANs used by the switch cannot have learning disabled either. To disable learning you'll use, and I'm not even going to show it on the screen, I'm just going to, to say it, no MAC address table learning and the VLAN or interface, and to restore it, default uh, MAC address table learning in global configuration. So with the MAC address table, it really takes some time just to get used to it. Uh, it's obviously a little bit different than the IP addressing or the route table, but just take your time. It will come. It takes a little bit of seasoning, but it's it's really very straightforward and not very difficult. And it can show you a wealth of information. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.